Here we are. We're back. We're back. It's All right. Another week. Welcome another back Friday. to another edition of Live Feed Reads. I'm your host, Paul Reed, and my Ed McMahon, Jason Crawford. What's up? Uh, it's a beautiful day today. A little windy. Uh, I think it's if it's not 70, it's certainly bordering like. on 70. I guess it's the uh, proverbial calm before the storm. Uh, yeah, I wish the weather like this was was like this all the time. Well, what's, what's, a, what's kind of sad is, of course, everybody, in case you're uh, living under a rock, uh, the Gasparilla, annual Gasparilla parade is back and the flotilla is tomorrow. And what's, you know, what's just unfortunate is yesterday, pretty nice day. Today, that would be fine. Tomorrow, freezing cold. Uh, and a 30 mile an hour wind right off the bay, it's literally going to be horrible. And in and, 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 and a difference of 24 hours, because today it's a little windy. It may be a little chilly, but it's not bad. Do you know what's funny uh, about that? <clears throat> I was on a I was on a training call that was hosting a social media workshop training for uh, another company, and they were they were tuning in from like all over the U.S. And somebody was like, hey, Jason, you're from Tampa, Florida. How's the weather down there? And I'm like, oh, it's kind of cold down here. And they're like, oh, yeah, OK. It's only minus 14 where we are. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, geez, OK. <laughs> it's like, whatever is cold to us, then. Well, like, I know, 50 <laughs> degrees is freezing. So anyway, let's see. Little Gasparilla facts. Uh, of course, it, right. it, believe it or not, it started in 1904. That is unbelievable. That's 1904. A, that's a long that's time. A hundred and, I don't do math. I don't either. 16, Long time. Long time. 17 years ago. Uh, and then, of course, 18. it's named after the old pirate Jose Gaspar, who supposedly roamed the the uh, the waters around here, uh, terrorizing other uh, other you know boats and things of that nature. Uh, in the, yeah. The 1800s. Doing pirate things. Mistaken. But there are a couple of things that, that I really didn't know. You know, like uh, I went to the facts and and what you can and can't do and things of that nature. Google. Um, and again, I've been going to this thing for, for literally decades. And, uh, yeah. but it says that one of the questions was, and I was actually surprised says, can I bring my own food and beverages? Yeah. And the answer is no. It says to there, win, are, to there are, there are a hundred food and beverage and novelty vendors located throughout the event <laughs> for your convenience. Uh, they support the local charities and gotcha. outside food and beverages are not permitted. Oh, no, you're sneaking sandwiches in your pockets. Well, Wait, that, but, we've but, always so had like a cooler or something. I was going to say, I, I remember I thought people bring in coolers. Coolers are not permitted. Now, huh. whether they will tell you, you know, to take it back to your car or otherwise, I don't know. But those those are the, those are the rules now. Whether they enforce them, I don't know. Or how tightly. I'll yeah. tell you this though: what, <clears throat> what happens every year is, of course, alcohol is allowed at the adult parade uh, tomorrow, but you have to be careful because it's only basically allowed on Bayshore. You will get arrested and or or a ticket, probably depending on the, the police officer and, and what whether they're going to enforce it or not. That's always sure. undetermined sitting here today yeah, yeah, yeah. and not knowing. But don't my my strong suggestion is don't walk from your car down those side streets holding a beer. No. Because you're just asking for trouble. Yeah. Do yeah, it you better be able to point to somebody who's a designated driver in your group. Well, <laughs> just, just wait till wait till you get to the parade route, pop your beers there, and uh, and you won't have anything to worry about. Um, I mean, it's another good reason, I guess, to drink there instead well, of carrying yeah, it because then carries, exactly. you're caught in transit. But uh, yeah. what else? Oh, another thing you I've seen, and I guess again, enforcement is is I, I don't know, but I've seen where people go in the morning they set up that orange mesh wire i mean orange mesh fencing okay to like rope off their spot the the city of tampa's website says you have to be present in order to reserve a spot if not they're going to remove your stuff oh, okay now, again how do they enforce that i don't know uh but but just i have seen where people take their tents and things of that nature rope off the whole area uh, and and then leave it. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may end up without your stuff. 
Um, yeah, I've been to the know. I've been to the parade only like maybe once or twice. The I've, whole time I've, I've lived literally here. been thirty or forty times, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's growing a... up, growing up, it was the <laughs> thing to do with mom yeah. and my brothers and things of that nature. Gotcha. Uh, there is a fire. Well, you know what? You may want to check. There's a fireworks show this usually, but it's if it's a 30, 40 mile an hour wind, my guess is there will not be a fireworks show. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna launch here and in the yeah. explode and over there. So you might again you might <laughs> want to play that by ear. And not to yeah. mention, you know, as soon as that sun sets and it gets 30 degrees or 40 degrees. I think uh, quick, dude. Oh my gosh. And, and remember <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> yeah, and remember, it may be warm here, say in Brandon or Plant City or whatever. Yeah. But right. when you get down to the bay, that water will drop the temperature 20. Oh degrees. yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, and it's gonna feel oh, it's bitter, a wet, day. cold. It's, it's, it's 50 or 60 degrees sitting here in Brandon, Plant City, <laughs> wherever. And then yeah. you make your trek to the bay and you get out of the car, and it's like, whoa. Yeah, man. Be, My, be cautious of that because it will probably sure. be a minimum of 10 degree difference, but probably even 20. So oh, it's yeah. going to be chilly if you go. God bless you. Good luck. Uh, here, another question was, where should I report? I'm sorry. Where should I report or where should I report or find lost children at the event? Ooh. Well, you shouldn't because you don't need to be taking your kids to this event. That's simple. The, the children's parade was last week. If you got kids, you should have went then. You Oof, don't yeah. take kids to this Mardi yeah, Gras. I would not recommend it. No. It's, it's sex, drugs, rock and roll, and alcohol. Oh, yeah, right. So, yeah, you know, be so careful. You know, the beads. Lots and it. lots of beads. Well, they're, they're fighting because of alcohol. Always. Right. I, I, I have not gone to a parade, not seen numerous fights. Sure, there sure, are sure. There are drunk people. God bless them. I'm not uh, not criticizing or not judging, but they're passed out. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. It's just it's just not a place for kids. So where should I uh, where should I uh, report or find my lost kids on the couch at your home? That's where they should be. Um, <laughs> okay. That's true. <clears throat> yeah, it's just that simple. It says uh, what items are not permitted? Of course, glass containers, which is common sense. You break a glass. That's dangerous uh, for everybody. You, I, I, I didn't think about this one. You can't have a grill. Some people like to maybe bring a little hibachi grill. I can't say that I've seen that. But uh, I don't think I've ever seen if that, it's yeah. on here, then people have done it. Well, if you can't bring uh, your own food and you know beverages, what, you know I would what? assume that you can't bring your own grill. Well, and you can't bring a tent. I didn't realize that. You know those 10 by 10 oh. tents? Yeah, yeah a little shade. You, you can't bring those as well. Okay, uh, so don't throw any shade on this parade, that's for sure. Yeah, of course, mm. no weapons of any sort. So even if you have a carry permit, it's my okay. understanding that that uh, is, will not suffice such that you can bring a gun, even a concealed weapon, that's uh, interesting. Uh, to the parade route. That's just... Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would... I only, I I'm only reading what they, there is on the website from Tampa. Yeah. That's I don't know again uh, what they how would do enforced. or how they would enforce it if they would yeah. just make you leave. But either way, it says there's no weapons of any sort. Well, yeah. isn't it isn't it illegal to like uh, have your firearm and be drinking alcohol? Um, I know you can't go into a bar. Okay. Honestly, I I am not sure that if if you can like have a beer like, with a concealed yeah. weapon. I thought I, I operating a firearm. Because, I mean, that, that's like saying you couldn't go to, I don't know, uh, yeah. a, a restaurant, have a beer, and your concealed weapon. I know you can't go to a bar. Put it that okay. way. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't, All I don't right. know so the exact So those are just but... some of the some of the things to consider when heading out to Gasparilla. I would say if you have not been, <laughs> parking is <laughs> insane. It is insane. Yeah. Leaving is even more insane. There oh, will yeah. be gridlock. For hours and then it will be after right. people so have if been i drinking, were you so. and if i were going <laughs> and forget ubers then forget it you'll you'll first off there'll be hundreds of dollars and you'll wait forever if you're going to go yeah. park a long way away yeah the walk other side of walk the away. city down by the courthouse and walk yeah Granted, get the, get the walk, 10 yeah. minute walk but i'll tell you what when you leave that 10 minute walk 
Yeah, uh, you're just going to be faster not, than not sitting there in a car. We're not going to have a three-hour parking yeah, garage. Right. So, yeah. Uh, and guess what? Leanne and I did this once and didn't realize it. When I was working downtown at the Bank of America, right beside it's a parking garage. Yeah, yeah, there is. Well, the, the exit to the parking garage funnels out onto um, Ashley. Ashley, yeah. So you can't, if you park in that garage, you can't leave till the parade's over. Oh. I did not know that, Jason. I, we did not. So we had to uh, wait till like eight o'clock at seven or eight o'clock at night yeah. to get out. So Yeah, and we, that's pre-Uber. That's pre-Uber time. Oh, yeah. So, so, uh, <laughs> so be uh, careful of where you park <clears throat> in what yeah. garage and also understand Getting out of those garages are going to be a nightmare. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. All right. So two weeks ago, we were off last week, I believe. Uh, uh, my dog Sugar died. God rest her soul. She's doing fine in heaven with yeah. and some of our other uh, uh, family and friends. But uh, so he took off or didn't do much as far as Jason's turn to ask yeah, me that's right. uh, questions or not questions, but give me words or phrases to see if yeah, I know so you what hit they me are. with some of those words and phrases that the old timers yes, says young right. people he, don't I know. And he, you got uh, me. You got me it. on a couple. Yeah, I think you got three out of five. Yeah. So it's my taking. turn. And and so I have my my lifeline uh, All right. on the phone here. Which this would be <clears throat> little Leanny. Let's yeah. get her on the phone. So you call her now? Just on the phone. I called her. She probably won't answer now. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello. All right, so hold oh, on. Now we're, we're live. If you want she to have uh, MS throw it on uh, the the Facebook, but all right, Jason, what is my right. first word? All right, the first one, and I I think this is probably an easy one. This is a uh, toss up. Is what does it mean if someone says you're salty? Uh, you're just you're crotchety old 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 bastard. <laughs> Okay. You know, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's close enough. I'll give you that one. Leanne, that's true. Yeah. Leanne, would you, hold on. Let's ask Leanne. If someone says you're salty, what does that mean? Salty. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Well, what? Well, hold on. Let me take you off speaker. What do you? What do you think it means? <laughs> okay. Yes. She says it's. Well, she says that someone's bad. So yeah, they're just yeah, they're salty. They're little, they're pissy. You know, they're like okay, they're ne right. they're a negative Nancy. All right, next. So to you next. would say like, why are you being so salty? Hey, hey, yeah. hey move on. All I right, got cool, that cool. one. So if somebody says no cap before they say something, what does it mean? No cap before mm -hmm. they say something. I have yep. no idea. <laughs> Do you know? No cap before they start to say something. No lie? Yeah, it means they're not lying. They're telling oh, the truth. Oh, short one for Lee they're, Andy. They're being honest. That's right. That's right. So I would okay, say, like, no right. cap. You look good today. The next one. Yeah. I got salty as well. All right. <laughs> All right. Hold on. If something is sus, is what is what? it? Sus. Sus? Yep. Yeah. No idea. What is that, Leanne? Do you have an idea? Sus? Yes, I have. I know all of these guys. Uh, I'm being suspicious. Sus. You're sus. Yes, oh it's suspect or suspicious. <laughs> like okay. the way you're acting all is right. kind of sus. Move like, on. Move yeah. on. <laughs> all right. Low key. What low does key. low key mean? Um, well, low key is just kind of your your mild mannered. Oh, it's a good guess. That's what the word's supposed to mean, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, but we, when we use it as young people, we say, like, I low-key like Justin Bieber. That means I really like Justin Bieber, but don't tell anybody. Is that, it's Leanne, like, is it's, that accurate? Kind of. Yeah, it's like something I don't want. I don't want paraded around out there, but I'll admit it. I've kind of been there, like, yeah, like, secretly. Okay. Yeah, see, like they wanted to All see. Right. Eh. Yeah, so low key, okay. like on the down well, low. Keep it on the down is, low, but. But yeah. mine is not incorrect because it is a, if you're low yeah. key, kind of. No, that's true. That's true. You're, it, you're in the ballpark. It's not the way that you were meaning it. All right, let's move right. on. Last one. Hmm. If you are tilted. Tilted? Yeah, you should get this one because this one kind of goes. Yeah, tilted. Okay, Leanne's never. The, if you are She's tilted. She's not familiar. T I L T E, tilted. You're a. Uh, 
You're uh, tilted. You're not right in the head. Okay, yeah, sort of. Yeah, this one's maybe from like the uh, gamer, the young gamer crowd. But think about the old pinball machines when they were on tilt. Yeah. Yeah, that's a person. A person who's on tilt is a person who's frazzled. They're fried. They're like, they're angry at everything. They're they're All tilted. Right. Oh, I yeah. kind of close. They're on tilt. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to Leanne. Thank you Similar for playing. Similar to salty. Yeah, see you, Leanne. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Thanks for playing. All right. Well then, all right, I so I, uh, I'm up next week <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, the terms and then. All right, cool. uh, Hit me with your best shot. I guess Brad that's Minnesota. about it. I will just say, you know, it's a it's a weekend. It's going to be cold. Yeah. Bundle up. Uh, if you go to Gasparilla, just uh, you know, just understand. Have a good time. Be safe. Well, be safe. Have a designated and, driver. Unfortunately, unsavory individuals will take this opportunity yeah. to steal from you. Yes, they will. You know, a pit, and you know, it, it seems like uh, uh, something we only see in a movie, but believe it or not. Uh, pickpocketers these are people that will steal your wallet and steal your your, your yep. the things that are off Drifters. you without you knowing that you know they, they may act like they're drunk and bump into you and next thing you know your wallet's gone or whatever yep. so i would just again remember, travel light uh yeah travel light be safe and uh, just like i tell my kids understand there are mean people everywhere yep. not just on tv uh with with that we're going to get out of here, everybody. Right. We will, uh, God willing, see you next Friday. Um, and Jason, on behalf of Jason Crawford and myself, we're All out. Right. We're out.